Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making this super fluffy, creamy hair butter using the benefits of hibiscus powder. The hibiscus flower has been used to improve hair health and promote hair growth. So I wanted to incorporate it into this body butter not only to see if I can get a beautiful color but also for its benefits. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So let's jump right into the video. I'm going to start by grinding down some hibiscus flowers. Yes, you can use just hibiscus powder. It would maybe make your life a lot easier than grinding down the dried flowers. Um, but this is what I had on hand. So this is what I did. And yes, it took some time to really grind those dried flowers down and you can see the color is kind of showing through here and this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to use hibiscus flowers today a lot of you guys suggested that it's a great way to get um, that red color for your body butters I've been looking for natural colorants for my body butters um, so I really wanted to test out the hibiscus flower again last time I did it I did not use the powder I used just the flower and when I strained the oil uh it wasn't red at all it was just clear oil so this time I took my subscribers advice and I'm so happy I did because I did get a very beautiful deep red hue um, when I made the hibiscus infused oil so right now I'm going to take you through the process of how I made the oil and then we'll talk more about the color of the hibiscus okay so step one is just our carrier oils I tried to pick the lightest oils that I could so I used about 40 grams of fractionated coconut oil for my base another 25 grams of poppy seed oil and then 20 grams of epsinium oil these oils are very lightweight they absorb fast in the skin and the hair it doesn't leave it heavy or greasy and then I also love that they were more on the clear side so they can really take in that hibiscus powder color okay so for step two I'm just using 28 grams of hibiscus powder that I personally grinded up with some muscle <laughs> and I'm just going to heat it up on the stove on very low heat once I feel like it has heated up a little bit I went on and add my carrier oils to the mixture and mixed it up well as I add the carrier oils, you can see that that red color from the hibiscus is starting to bleed through almost immediately. I was so excited when I seen this, you guys, but I still let it heat on low uh, for about 20 minutes because I just wanted to make sure that I was extracting as much of that color out as possible. Um, and at this point, I do feel like a good chunk of that color was in there, but I just wasn't a hundred percent satisfied so I did go back and grind some more hibiscus flowers and add it maybe like another 28 grams or so to uh, the oils to heat up on the stove and that is when I started to kind of feel like okay I might have a really deep deep red color for my body butter okay so now all that's left to do is strain it um, Anytime I'm dealing with herbs or very fine powders, I like to use the strainer and also a cheesecloth or something like that to make sure I get all the little tiny particles, as many of them as I possibly can. I feel like this did pretty well, but if you want to strain it twice, you definitely can do that. But I feel like those little specks of hibiscus is also what helps give your oil that really deep, deep color. So I wouldn't worry about trying to get every little tiny bit of powder out of there i think it's perfectly fine okay so this is what it's looking like and i am obsessed i absolutely love it however i was concerned at this point was it dark enough was it going to really give me that hue that i was looking for for my body butter it definitely came through for the infused oil but for the body butter it definitely wasn't as dark as i was hoping for um, but you will see as I go through how to make the body butter, I'm going to go through all the steps so you can see at what point I do kind of feel like it works and then where I feel like it doesn't, okay? All right, to make our hibiscus hair butter, I'm using only mango butter. I wanted it to stand out alone. It's a beautiful very beautiful butter to work with one of my favorites it has almost no odor so that's a plus especially if you're someone who is very sensitive to shea butter odor and of course unless you're using refined shea butter then then it doesn't really matter but the mango butter uh is also semi semi hard so it's a tiny bit more uh stable than shea butter and it will give you a more 
fluffier uh, butter that has a lot better hold as far as form, especially if you're someone who likes to pipe their butters, okay? As you can see here, I'm pressing into it pretty easily, so it's not super hard, but it's a great alternative to shea butter. Not exactly the same, but very similar, so um, definitely give mango butter a try, you guys, okay? To melt my butter, I'm just going to place it in a water bath on the stove on low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. Once it's melted down, step two, all you have to do is add your hibiscus infused oil. Just look at that, you guys. It is so beautiful. I was so happy. I was so pleased with this beautiful color so just give it a quick little stir and then you're just gonna cover it up and place it in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on how much you made if you made a little bit more it might take a little longer um, and once it did freeze uh, slightly you don't want it super hard just a little semi solid uh, just enough for you to whip it up and make it fluffy and pretty uh, it was still beautiful at this point so here I feel like it would have made the perfect like balm because you can just pour it directly into the container and it will keep that deep rich color but as soon as you start to whip it it's just the color just disappears it completely disappears of course there's still a slight color there it's a very light pinkish pastel color which is still very beautiful but it's just not what i was looking for and i honestly feel like no matter how much hibiscus powder you add it's just going to turn out this way um, but I will probably exp experiment with it a little bit more but I think I'm going to keep looking for other herbs to get a natural red color for my body butters this definitely just isn't it for me I used a white paper towel just to show you guys that there is some color there but yeah <laughs> If I didn't whip this butter up, I think the color would have been perfect. Um, but I want to be able to have a deep red color with my whipped body butters, hair butters, okay? As you guys can see, my piping skills still have not improved. But <laughs> I enjoy piping up these butters. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. You guys really enjoy the hair butters and body butters as well on this channel. So I do want to keep bringing them to you guys. But I also want to explore other DIYs and emulsions and lotions and shampoos and make sure I'm also catering to that audience as well. So you will start to see um, a little less body butters and hair butters, um, but I will still keep them in rotation. I just want to make sure that I'm being as creative as I possibly can for myself and you guys as well. And I know you guys enjoy being creators, so it's the perfect time to talk about our sponsor, Skillshare. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity or just learn a new skill. Invest in yourself for your business or for personal growth. On my creative journey with Skillshare, I've been trying to improve my thumbnails on YouTube. I want to make them a little bit more appealing and a little bit more professional. I found a class by Daniel Scott. He teaches you how to use Photoshop to enhance your photos, thumbnails, and advertisements. This was perfect for me because I use Photoshop all the time for my thumbnails. With this course, I learned new ways to enhance my thumbnails using Photoshop. The classes are short, well-organized, and easy to navigate. And I have confidence in knowing that the experts who I'm learning from are experts in their field and actually work in their field. The first thousand people to use the link in the description box will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So yeah, definitely go click on that link down below to check out Skillshare, you guys. And that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this hibiscus hair butter and I hope you give it a try yourself. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any alternatives for a red natural color. I give this DIY a 7 out of 10 just because I didn't get the color I wanted. But the infused oil worked out perfectly and it did work to give me that red color. So like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm afraid of what we get.